Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Well, today is a bad day for our microwave, but it's a good day for you because I'm going to show you how to fix this if this happens to your microwave. Our turntable, let's go look at it. Our turntable inside the microwave, the part that rotates the food to get it evenly heated, um, stopped working. And when I did a little investigation, I saw that our coupler, that's this little thing right here, that uh, spins around and slowly turns this big tray around apparently is broken and uh, that is a manufacturing defect because nothing should cause this thing to break so today I'm going to show you how to re remove and replace that coupler that will keep your food spinning around now I'm going to be honest this is a little bit of a fake video because I just wanted to show you it I actually took it apart already and went to the parts store so I would have the replacement part to go ahead and make the video. So to save some steps, instead of undoing 10 screws, I'm just going to show you what they were to unscrew them. So step one, whenever you're dealing with microwaves or anything like that, is to unplug it. Most of these are up here, so here we go. We just removed our electricity, that's a good thing. Step two is to get some light on the subject. Uh, we have to get underneath there, and uh, you don't have to have this part, but I like these little lights. Put a little light on the subject, and what we're going to do, let me move this coffee pot. What we're going to do is use a screwdriver, and that's all we really need for this job, are a couple Phillips head screwdrivers, and we're going to undo this whole bottom section now i already took out the two filters i didn't want those falling those are just the where are they i already took out these filters just so they didn't fall out everywhere um but using the screwdriver i'm going to remove i think six screws and guess what i already removed most of them here they are and the last screw i'll remove and i'll do that on the tripod when you remove the last little screw here, they're just sheet metal screws. When you remove that, just hold your hand here so this thing doesn't swing down and smack anything. You have a, basically on a little ledge that'll support the weight, and there we go. Not too terribly heavy. Well, what you see underneath there are the wires that go to the two lights and a wire that goes to that little puck-shaped motor. And that puck-shaped motor, we need to disconnect the power. So carefully just slide this straight out, that was easy. And now, using the smaller of two screwdrivers, another Phillips head, we're gonna take two screws out of here and pull that down. This motor is what this new coupler is attached to. So we'll pull that down and then put this new one in. The small screwdriver just lets you work in there a little bit easier. So by the way, if your motor is dead, this is how you replace the motor too. There we go. So this is the little motor piece. I'm not sure how much this costs, but I do know that this costs around 40 bucks. Now, I took the old one to the local hardware store, which is called Greebies here in my town, and Sean is the parts manager, and he's a super great guy. He said he can't believe they charge 40 bucks for this. So uh, when he... Uh, gets an old microwave that's unserviceable before they recycle it he pulls parts off like this so i called him up and when i went there he said here you go threw it to me and shout out to sean super customer service i'll keep buying all my parts there for a long time okay let's put this in here we are up top 
here's the old broken piece. Now you may ask yourself, why did you have to take the bottom piece off just to get this in there? Well, there's really no way to pull that other broken piece off. This little axle piece was down here on the bottom, pushed onto this, which is fairly tight by design. So I had to take it apart to pull this little broken piece of the uh, coupler off. So the new coupler can only fit on one way. It's got that half moon cutout. And on the top piece, I'm gonna get ready to push down while holding the bottom piece in place. Okay, you have to trust me that the bottom piece, piece is in place. And now, I'm gonna I'm going to double check here to look. Okay, it has to be that way. There we go. We'll press that down. And now a little bit lower, you see that the motor is just holding that in by friction. I'm going to pull it apart a little bit. Give it a little leeway. Oh, too much. And then you just reverse the steps. We'll put the two screws back on to the um, motor. We'll connect the power. And then we're going to lift up the top and put all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws back into place. And we'll put the power on and see if it works. I'm going to do that all quick time. Okay, I just installed the uh, little runner circle and the disc for the glass, and here's my frozen Chinese lunch. Three minutes. The moment of truth. Yay, it is spinning. Okay, everybody. You keep seeing me in a reflection, oh well. Uh, that's how you change out the coupler in a GE microwave. Not terribly difficult, but if you haven't seen it done before, it helps to see somebody else do it first. Part-wise, about 40 bucks for that piece of plastic. Um, the motor, I'm not sure on, but that's also how you get at the motor to change that out. Thanks for watching.